In our previous tutorial, we have already enabled the UART pins of the Raspberry Pi and is ready to communicate serially with other devices. Now, the next step that we are going to do is to connect the hardware components involved. Basically, what we need to connect first is the Raspberry Pi and the RS232 and TTL converter. So, the TTL pins will be connected to the UART of your Raspberry Pi board. That's why we need these jumper wires to connect two components. So, since we have four pins, we also need to have four wires for this. So the first one, it will connect the VCC pin, this one, okay? Then this white, I'll just put it into the receiver pin. The blue ones for distinction, I'll put it in the transmitter pin and lastly for the ground pin okay so so we are already done with the connection in the TTL part of the uh, RS222 TTL converter now on the other side as you know already in the diagram we will connect first the white wire which is for the receiver to the uh, receiver UART pin of your Raspberry Pi which is actually pin 8 so of course uh, based on the configuration of the pins we will count first on this side here on the left side and that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we will have the receiver to receiver connection of the converter and the Raspberry Pi now for the transmitter, we will connect also this one to the UART PX pin. So it's pin 10, which is just beside uh, pin 8. Okay. So of course the power supply cables. So the red wire is connected to the VCC. So we will connect this to any of the power supply pins. It could either be 3.3 volts or 5 volts. It could be pins 1, 2, 4, or pin 17. So you can refer that one to the diagram that I have shown earlier. So I will just connect this one to the 3.3 uh, volts here on pin 1 which is just the same with what is in pin 17 so the ground i can connect this to pin 6 so now it's all set up so we are done with the raspberry pi and the rs232 ttl converter connection okay so next is we will connect this rs232 male connector to the RS232 female connector of your Raspberry Pi. So once we connect this, it's all good. Okay. All we need now is the power supply of this RFID reader, which is basically 12 volts. And this one for our Raspberry Pi, we also need the 5 volt uh, power supply. Okay. So that's it.